Welcome to Crash My, I'm Alex, and we'll be covering polygon spheres today. So let's make a sphere. Uh, if when you click the polygon sphere in the polygon shelf, if you don't see a sphere up here, uh, you might need to do this. You might need to go to create polygon primitives and make sure interactive creation is off. You can then click the polygon sphere, it should appear in your viewport. I'm going to hide the grid for this, we don't really need it. And let's talk about uh, spheres a little bit. Um, they're great, but the problem that you always uh, have are the poles. And it's these little guys here. Now the problem that you will see is that when you subdivide a, a sphere, there's a star pattern that forms at the poles because it's trying to subdivide the triangles. And uh, to get rid of it, there's a couple things that you know, we can do. Uh, I'm going to show you my favorite uh, that I came up with, and uh, let's dive right into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a sphere that can be divisible by four, uh, but not just by four. When it's divisible by four, so it creates quads, you should also have a an edge loop at 45 degrees. And uh, let me show what I mean. So if I make a curve here, I'm going to snap here and here. I'm just going to move it up. So when I'm using the subdivision axis to subdivide my uh, sphere here, what I'm looking for is that I have uh, 90 degree uh, loops, edge loops, as well as one at 45 degrees. So this one right here indicates our 45 degree loop. and so any subdivision amount, which gives you all of the, all of these, so the smallest one is 8, and then you can do a 16, a 24, uh, 32, 48, and so forth. So let's do, and also 64. So we'll quickly and go over how to get rid of the poles on a sphere uh, on all these uh, types of spheres let's start with a 4 uh, with an 8 and of course this has to kind of mimic what the we need to make sure that the subdivision height is similar to the uh, subdivision axis where we have as square as possible faces on a sphere, otherwise you get really uh, bad results. So, easiest thing is to delete the <clears throat> 45 degree edges, and you'll have a quad sphere like that. But you know, uh, that's just an eight subdivision sphere, uh, and we want to do something a little more complex. So let's undo that, and let's do a subdivision of 16. And same as the height, so let's the, bring the height down to 10. 10 is good. Okay, so the way I like to do it, first I want to delete parts that I don't want to work with. Uh, by the way, that's appearing because there's a, sometimes a bug with viewport 2.0 instead of the legacy. And it shouldn't pop back and forth. And we don't need the bottom as well. So we have this now. Uh, and I'm going to use the multi-cut tool for this. And what you want to do is you want to go into the, the first uh, edge loop around the pole <clears throat> and find the vertex at the 45 degree uh, uh, edge loop. And so it's this point here. And then what you want to do is you want to go straight up. And the vertex that uh, you find is the one you connect to. And we'll do one here like this. And if you double click this loop and this one and do control delete, and then we can just delete these two. Now we have no poles, all quads, and let's rebuild our sphere. We're going to duplicate 9 degrees, shift D, shift D, duplicate, scale down. And then we'll just uh, combine, merge, and soften edge. There we go. Here's our sphere. No poles, just quads. Looks pretty good. 
<coughs> clear history, done. So let's do something a little more complex. Uh, let's do a 24. And the height should be, let's see, 12, 14. This should be good. Same thing, we don't want to do more work than we have to. Uh, we're going to start the same way. Multi-cut tool, we find the first edge loop and we find the point at the 45 degree edge loop, the first one, right, like that. And if we go straight up, this is not the point we want for this one. It's, it would be this one. So basically, if you put a vertical line, you can see that this is the most vertical uh, line we can make where we to connect to this point. So if we go here, see the line goes off vertical. We don't want that, and this is the same thing, uh, or horizontal, so this way it makes the best possible outcome. So then you go to the next point, like this, and then just like that. And then we double click this edge, this one, this one, this one, control delete. D, scale down, it's negative one, and again, uh, combine, merge, and soften edge. There's our 24 subdivision axis sphere, and let's do something a more complicated. So uh, you can also do 32, but we'll go straight to 64. That's a pretty dense sphere. Now let's give it a subdivision height of, um, let's see. Uh, 28 should be good. Right. So the idea is the same here. If you're not sure um, which loop uh, the line is going to be on, all you have to do is select the EP curve tool, hold V, click here, and then just Holding shift, click up. You should get something like this. And you can see that this edge loop uh, crosses closest to this point, so that's the one we're going to use. Multi cut tool here. And on this side, all you have to do is follow this loop. So it's like this. There we go. And then you can start from here. In like that. There. And done. So now we'll just double click. To select all of these, we can just uh, select one of these edges, click Contiguous Edges, then deselect that, and just hit Delete, not Control Delete. Control D. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, post them below. Thank you.